What happened with the way you guys responded this week? I'm, I'm ecstatic. I think happy is, is, isn't the word. I think that from the second that uh, we entered the building on Tuesday morning, I think you can tell that we have leaders and it's showing. So the way we responded this entire week has been, it's been fun. That's kind of the, been the motto this week is have fun. And the guys are taking it well, and we're just we're ready for Saturday. I mean, do you feel like that this week was more about going back to basics, make sure you're honing what you already do well, or just maybe more about adjustments based on what you've done for the first four weeks? I think it's really it's boiling down to us mostly. I mean, obviously you can make adjustments week to week, but just kind of you know understanding what our core values are. Uh, you know, being a team that plays defense, a team that owns the ball on offense, and that flies around on special teams, and that's been the emphasis. It's clear. It's clear to everybody, so we're excited to see what we can, how we can respond Saturday on the field. Do you feel like the mental preparation maybe was even more of an emphasis this this uh, week than the, just the physical preparation? Um, not really. I think I think that if you watch our practice on Tuesday, and Wednesday, you go, "Holy smokes, this looks like fall camp." And that's what's, that's what's cool is that is that guys are are not are not you know taking anything back. I mean, inside run was the most aggressive I've ever seen. I think I think I saw Jason Lewis flat back somebody, which was unbelievable. <laughs> to see in, in week five. So we're, we're ready to go and we're prepared. You know, everybody's got their, their own personal things now. They're honing down. But now as a team, we're going into October. We've been playing for a while. How are you guys doing together as a whole now? It's, 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 it's just, it's, it's pretty incredible to see the type of relationships that we have and the type of culture that's going on. I mean, we've had guys going to din dinner with each other. I know guys are hanging out more than, more than ever when most teams around the country are just doing their own thing at this point in the middle of the season. So we still are coming together as a group, being a brotherhood. It's something that wins, losses, doesn't matter. We're always going to have each other, and that's all we need. That carries out over into the field. Absolutely. I think that we learned that. It's kind of our motto during uh, during the summer is the brotherhood, and it's something that we really believe in. It's not just a talk. So we'll see how, you know, we just we will rise up arm in arm and uh, go get a win Saturday. Devin is uh, going to be going up against his old teammates. Can you imagine doing that, what that might be like to, to do something like that? Yeah, definitely. I'm sure it's pretty uh, pretty spiritual for him to be back on that field. But I think he's excited. He's ready. He's prepared harder than he, than he ever has before, which is pretty pretty understandable. But I think he just needs to play his game. We need to play our game as an offense, defense, and special teams. And it's going to be it's just going to be a fun day. The last time we were there in the Rose Bowl, we came out with a victory. And it wasn't easy, so we're hoping to get that again. Mike, does the fact that U of A ran the ball against UCLA with such success mean there's going to be more of an emphasis on inside runs this game? No, not really. I mean, I think that, you know, whenever you look at a game to see who won or lost, it, it boils down to who ran the football and who won the turnover mark, uh, turnover ratio. So that's that's been our emphasis every single week since Coach Graham's got here. So we're going to do what we got to do. we got a great plan. It's, just, it's, time, it's time to uh, to play a football game now. Obviously, the game against uh, SC l last year was not only special because of the way it ended, but just because, you know, you being a Southern California guy, not, not, not going to Pasadena, no, 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 not too far from your hometown. I mean, uh, this game is really special too. I would say. Yeah, it's. I mean, I'm, for for myself and a lot of those Southern California guys, it hits home more than more than these Texas guys. They don't they don't know about it and stuff like that. But um, really, really, it's it's big for all of us. We know what kind of game this is. Not just because we have California guys on our team, just because this is conference play. Yeah, uh, this is this is the biggest game of the year, Saturday, and we're approaching it like that. So. Um, it's going to be special and yeah, there's going to be a lot of family friends in the stands.